Good morning, Bethel fam. Welcome to today's Convos and Coffee. Uh, winning the war in your mind. And today we're talking about uh, the power of gratitude and the mind. And so uh, what are some of the ways that you practice daily gratitude? I want you to type those in the chat, uh, write them down in the comments so I can see um, how you practice daily gratitude. And so we're going to go right into page number 192. And it says, a change of perspective leads us to praise God. And praising God changes our perspective. Um, I think this is so cool. And then goes on to list a bunch of different scripture verses. Uh, why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior, my God. That's Psalms 42, verse 5. Um, I actually have a verse over here. Psalms 126, verse 3 says, The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Another one, Hebrews 12, verse 28. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. Give thanks in all circumstances. You know this one. For it is the will of God in Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 um, As you can tell, the, the scriptures are littered with uh, reminder to be thankful, to uh, be in a state of gratitude, of thankfulness uh, for God. And uh, Craig Groeschel reminds us that perspective is everything. And when we give thanks to God, and when we turn our hearts into a position of thankfulness, of gratefulness, we actually see that our perspective also changes. And so today, I want you to just take a moment and pause. And I know this is cliche and we always do these things, um, but just take a moment and find five things, 10 things that you're grateful for, that God has truly blessed you with. And allow that to just sink in and just touch your spirit today and remind yourself that my God is good. He's faithful. I'm breathing, I'm loved, I'm forgiven. And the list can continue to go on with what it is that God's put in your life. And let's just practice a heart of thankfulness. Let's take each day and praise God and allow him to change our perspective, to continue to be in a state of gratefulness in choosing to praise him in every way. So Bethel fam, be encouraged. Know that uh, optimism is for us because we are in Christ and our God will never fail us. So let's continue to praise him um, with a heart of thankfulness and see how that then transforms our mind and our everyday life. Be blessed.